As a child, I absolutely despised eggnog, but as an adult, I learned to enjoy it. However, it never really quite sat right with me. I will live and die by this. All of these store-bought eggnogs are really not that great. So today, I will change my opinion on eggnog. And if you're questioning eggnog, I will change yours too. And I bet you have everything you need in your pantry for it at this very moment. Now let's get started and let's make some eggnog. What if I told you that eggnog is a top tier holiday drink? What if I told you that eggnog is best enjoyed with your friends and family? And what if I told you that eggnog starts with, well, eggs? Start by just a handful of your eggs, six to be exact, and set them aside. We will crack them in just a second. Next, measure half a cup or 100 grams of sugar because we want our eggnog to taste sweet, right? Add 3 fourth of a teaspoon or 2 grams of cinnamon, 1 fourth of a teaspoon of cloves, and half a teaspoon or 3 grams of nutmeg. Now set all of your spices to the side for a moment. The last one is our vanilla bean. Now, you can use vanilla extract, but if you can, go for the bean. The most notable difference is going to be the price. Vanilla beans are considerably more expensive than vanilla extract. So if you use vanilla extract, use half a teaspoon. Split your bean in half carefully. You only want to split the top half like I am here. The inside is filled with all the speckled beans. Using the back of a knife, scrape them into a small bowl and keep the bean pod in the bowl also. Pour two cups or 500 milliliters of milk and one cup or 250 milliliters of heavy cream into a saucepan. Add your vanilla bean as well and bring it to a light simmer. While your milk is coming to a slow simmer, whisk your egg yolks and sugar together. Since I have a new KitchenAid, I'll be using this. Whisking by hand or using a hand mixer works equally as well. And if you want, toast your spices for two to three minutes on medium heat to boost their flavor. Oh, before I forget, there are many ways to separate egg whites from the yolks. There is the eggshell method I used in a previous video, but I think the hand method works best for multiple egg separation. All you do is cup your hands, place it into a bowl, and scoop out an egg yolk. The egg white should slowly fall between the cracks of your fingers, leaving just the yolk behind. While whisking your eggs, slowly add in your hot milk mixture to your eggs. This is how we temper our eggs so that our eggnog is safe to consume. Once your entire mixture is whisked together, add it back to the saucepan and heat it until it thickens just slightly. You'll know it's right if it coats the back of the spoon well or if the consistency is slightly thicker than milk. So about two to three minutes on medium heat and constantly stirring. And I do mean constantly stirring or else you will screw this up. This is also the point where you will add in your cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. After your mixture is thickened, pour it into a large bowl through a fine mesh sieve to remove any excess portions. Add in one fourth of a cup or 125 milliliters of bourbon, whiskey, or rum. We add our alcohol last so it doesn't evaporate off so much as opposed to adding it earlier. Make sure the bowl is sitting in an ice bath and continue to stir until the mixture has cooled considerably. Pour it into a glass jar, spank it, and seal it. Once it is cooled for one to two hours, pour yourself a nice and relaxing glass of eggnog and take the rest of the afternoon off to enjoy yourself. It's also worth noting that you can use the remaining egg whites in one cup or 200 grams of sugar to create an egg white foam. Just whisk your egg whites and slowly add in sugar once the foam develops. Top your glass with egg white foam, sprinkle ground cinnamon, and add a cinnamon stick for aesthetics. And just like that, you will impress yourself or your guests with rich and delicious eggnog. But you know what? I can't lie to you. In order to make your eggnog taste better, you need to treat it well. Maybe share some snacks with your eggnog. Maybe read a cookbook with your eggnog. Maybe play some Jenga with your eggnog. And maybe take a shot of bourbon with your eggnog. You didn't see that. Okay, now that's enough. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. Now you know how to make homemade eggnog better than any store-bought version. And you can impress your friends and family too. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you learned something new or if you just enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Comment below your thoughts, your favorite holiday drink, or any recipe ideas you want me to do for future videos and I'll add it to the list. Thanks everyone. I'll see you next time.